In the recent times, what we have seen is that countries have become much more open to each other than they were before. So earlier, you know, even when India got its independence, what we saw was that we were always talking about India being self-sufficient. We were always talking about an economy which was a closed economy, which believed in the production of all goods and services. But especially during the program, you know, the policies that came especially in 1991, the LPG policy, we saw that India moved away from being self-sufficient, from being closed towards being an open economy. And in fact, this is not only the case with India, but other countries also they went ahead towards becoming open economy. So what we are concerned with now is the recent times where we have observed that countries are much more closely linked to each other than they were before. There is more movement of goods and services, more flow of money between two countries, any two countries. There is more investment in each other's country known as foreign direct investment and hence the study of international economics becomes very very important now what is international economics all about this interaction that takes place between two independent nations this is known as international economics this is what our agenda is so the aim of international economics is to go ahead and understand how the transactions and interactions take place between different nations. Through this course on international economics, we are going to go ahead and get through these seven themes. And we are going to talk about each of them in detail. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to understand the gains from trade, what is gain from trade? Who gains from trade? Who loses from trade? What is the kind of pattern that we see in trade? What is protectionism? How can you, you know, have these different strategies like import tariff, like quotas? How do you use them? How do you use these uh, different tariffs? What is balance of payment? How do you determine exchange rate? How do you have international policy coordination? And finally, finally, international capital market. So the aim of this course is to get you through the entire international economics. Gains from trade. Now, what is gains from trade? As the word suggests, whenever you will trade with the outer world, if you gain, if you make profit, then that is gain from trade. So when one country sells to another country their goods and services, if this country benefits, then it is gained from trade. But the question is, will this country also benefit? That is something that we are interested in understanding here. It might be the case that the second country might also benefit because if the second country would have been involved in self-production, maybe the cost would have been very high. So because when it would have been involved in self-production, the cost would have been very high, it is better to go ahead and import it from this country at a lower price. And thereby the country which is importing might also, importing country might also gain from trade. So the question that we are trying to ask here is who gains from trade? Are all the countries going to benefit from the gain of trade? I mean, from the trade or not? Does international trade hurt some groups within nations? So it might be the case that, for example, when India goes ahead and when India imports mobiles 
or it imports let's say let's say some kind of clothes machine made clothes it affects these small factories it affects the jute industry it affects the traditional industries so within any country there may be some group of people who might be hurt whenever a trade takes place so we we are asking this question does international trade hurt some groups within nation then we are asking should a country import goods that it can produce itself now it's not the case that india cannot produce these machine made clothes but if it is still importing some kind of clothes maybe this is because the cost at which it is importing or the price at which it is importing is lower than the cost of manufacturing within the country so the question that we are asking here is when will a country import the good it's not that it cannot produce itself if it is still importing when will that take place when will it go ahead and import the good still how does trade lead to income distribution how can you use trade for the purpose of income distribution like i just mentioned so the people who will import these clothes and sell these clothes will gain from trade but these original factory owners right here they will lose from trade automatically income will be redistributed right some people will become rich some will become poor so how is income going to get redistributed that is what we are going ahead and asking the second question that we are asking is patterns of trade so in patterns of trade we have the following questions first who wants to sell and who wants to buy right and what do you want to sell so who wants to sell to whom do you want to sell and what do you want to sell that's the first question we are asking what factors lead to trade so you know we will talk about this in detail but any country which has more of unskilled labor will produce the products that use more of the unskilled labor and may want to import you know sorry may want to export that product also any country which has excess of land may want to produce the products which use more of land and thereby this country may want to go ahead and may want to export products that use more of land and so on so what factors will lead to trade what do you think in the background when you are trading that is the next question that we are asking okay now let's go to the next part how does resource determine the trade pattern so this is what we are trying to understand we have some resources right i may have land i may have labor i may have different resources the question is how does it determine and this is very 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 close to what we asked before but how does this determine how what would be the trade pattern who will export who will import what is inter industry and intra industry trade we'll do a formula for this also so can trade take place within the industry can trade take take place between industries we want to understand that 